she can I might have put it in the thumbnail and in the title and everywhere so today I'm going to do a Shari Rai inspired makeup look which um, she recently sported at the Council Festival so I hope this is like a day two look or something if I'm wrong feel free to correct me in the comments so coming back to this makeup look she sported that beautiful um, 80s vintage hairstyle like with a lot of waves I've tried but as you can see it's a major failure. My hair is so greasy, the curls didn't stay like at least a minute. So yes, coming back to this makeup, she got that beautiful wing eyeliner and brown shirt lipstick which is like totally 50s and 60s. So I thought of recreating that look and also keep in mind guys, I am nowhere similar to Aishwarya Rai and this is not a transformation. This is more like my interpretation of her makeup and creating on myself. So I'm going to work with what I've got, just keep that in mind. So if you want to know how I did this look, you can watch it. So first comes the eyebrows, uh, if you see her pictures, there's nothing fancy about her eyebrows, just filled in a uh, little gaps with a pencil, so I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm going to use my design, my eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to fill in the gaps with this one. I'm not going to alter my eyebrow shape or anything. Guys, keep in mind this is not a transformation, this is me trying to do the same kind of makeup. So, yeah, I'm just going to do with what I have, I'm not going to do any transformations. I'm just going to keep this with brush. So, to do the liner part, I'm going to use the sticky note as a guideline to get the really sharp and precise ring. As a first step, I'm just going to take a bit of my concealer and apply it all over my eyelid to the brow bone. This kind of cancels out the pigmentation on top of my eyelid. And I'm going to set this with some water. I'm really really sorry guys if you can hear a lot of noise in the background. There is some kind of construction work going around the street so I really tried my level best to remove all the noise when I edit this video but if you can still hear the noise I'm really sorry guys. So coming back to the look, um, her eyelids were really big and kept mad so I'm not going to do much on the eyelid. But I believe that her eyes are naturally contoured, like um, she got the beautiful depth to her eyes which I haven't got. So I'm going to take this um, MAC Angle Times 9 palette and I'm going to take this shade. This is like a really soft um, mauveish peach kind of shade. So I'm just going to apply that in the crease. Um, by the way the shade name is Georgia Peach. So I'm just going to apply that in the crease. This is not going to add any color guys, like I'm just going to add a soft contour to the eye. So I'm going back in the crease and a teeny tiny bit above the crease. So while applying this, I'm kind of keeping my eyes open so that kind of goes a bit above the crease. So as you guys can see, it hasn't had a lot of color but we can see that a soft shadow over there. So that is what we're going for. And now I'm going to do the beautiful lip liner. Uh, for that I'm going to use my medium gel liner and Vega liner brush. I'm starting to move the middle of my eye. I'm going to do the pink first. I'm just going to take this tape off and just going to sharpen the little bit. And don't worry guys, if you haven't got a really sharp ring, you can totally clean up uh, with the concealer. So before moving to the raw lash line, I'm just going to do my base first and uh, for my foundation today, I'm going to use this MAC Studio Fix Foundation. And to 
blend the foundation, I'm going to use my real thickness little sponge. I'm just going to add a little bit more to the foundation. I think I've picked the duplicate one instead of the original one because the finish this one gives is like totally not good. If you don't know the story, um, I've told that story in my back YouTube interview. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link to that here in the card. You can check it out. So I don't have any other sponge at the moment, so I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Puffing Brush to blend the foundation. So I'm not going to take that under my eyes because I'm really going to use two concealers. So for further concealer, to cancel out my dark circles, I'm going to use this MAC um, Set Moisture Cover Concealer. I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. A bit long enough. And I'm just going to use this Sigma Brush Coat. If you see her pictures closely, there's no kind of shimmery highlighter going, but her face is like beautifully highlighted and contour, so I need to just use the concealer to highlight her face. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use my Nivea Clean um, Fit Me Concealer. Under my eyes, I'm just going to go a bit generous with this. So I went ahead and found my beauty blender and I'm going to use the same for my concealer. And I'm going to pass the same beauty blender but I'm not adding any product. Just um, under where my contour goes. And to set that concealer, I'm going to use my Dark Blue Wallace Face Powder. Before going on to the contour and everything, I really want to finish up the eyes first. If you see her pictures closely, you don't see anything on her lower waterline. So, and at the same time, you don't see any skin peeking through her upper waterline as well. So, I'm just going to use this plump kachal to tightline my upper lash line. So there is nothing like a kajal or a green dark eyeshadow going on her lower lash line but if you see closely there is a little bit of brown going on um, outside of the lower lash line and a little bit of gold in the inner half so I'm just going to do the same so I'm going to take the same uh, in the times palette and I'm going to take the same shade which we have used in the crease mixed with a little bit of brown and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner really really softly you can hardly see this one So I'm not really sure uh, if you can see on the camera but it kind of added a bit of dimension to the raw lash line. I'm just going to do the same on the upper eye as well. So for the inner half I'm going to take this actually from here. This is like a beautiful gold. This is in the shade Creative Copper. This one applies more like a glitter than a little thick eyeshadow. I'm kind of trying that to the inner half. So that's it guys, nothing fancy in the eyes, really really simple. So to finish off the eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And the mascara I'm going to use is this L'Oreal Volume Making Lashes. And I don't think there's much um, mascara going on the lower lash line. Maybe I can find a bit on the tips, so I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to apply it a bit on the tips of my so that they just don't go invisible. And that's it guys, we're done with eyes and now I'm going to move on to the face. And to control my face, you guys know I'm going to use my Bama Mama bronzer. It's going to do like a really really soft contour.
and I'm also going to contour my knees a little bit, not majorly, but teeny tiny bit. Just to keep that nice function. And moving on to the blush, you don't see much of blush going on over there. She got like a little bit of flush uh, from her cheeks, and that blush is like beautifully blended into the contour, so you don't see like a contour and blush separately. And for the blush, I'm going to use this uh, Rockito blush from Benefit. This is a uh, sample size guys. If you see her pictures closely, you don't see any blush here, like on the apples, but you can see a little bit of flush going on. Um, from here, uh, blend it into the temples. And now we are jumping into the most important part of this look, which is lips. The whole focus is on the wing liner and the lips. Um, she got that beautiful, uh, really deep, dark, black and brownish shade, which is like totally 60s and 50s. So, yeah, I haven't got any shades similar to that, but you can find some in L'Oreal, in Revlon, and Lacme. But for today, I'm going to DIY that. And for that, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever lipstick in the shade Matte 8. This is like a beautiful red. So, this is how it looks. I'm going to turn this into that beautiful brownish red. So, first, I'm going to apply this directly on my lips. I'm going to go over with a uh, lip brush guys, so don't worry if, if you see any animalness. So I'm just going to go with this brush. So as you can see this lipstick is more red than brown. So I'm going to make this brown um, and for that I'm going to use my same Bahama Mama bronzer. I'm just going to take a bit um, of my finger and I'm going to dab it on my lips. And it looks like that she got a little more of depth in the outer corners. So I'm just going to take this eyeshadow from this MAC Invertite palette. This is like a really deep dark brown. And I'm just going to dab it on the outer corners of my upper and lower lid. So as you can see that kind of gave us like a really dark lipstick so you can actually mix your eyeshadow with your lipstick and you can get the desired color. Now I'm going to take my concealer and I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit. As you can see I have overlined my lips a really really tiny bit. I'm not pretty sure whether you can see the difference or not, but yes, I did a little bit of overlining. So this is the look guys, this is the best I can come up with. Uh, I really wanted to do the hair as well, I did some curls uh, for the friend bit, but my hair is so crazy, the curls didn't stay up, like it's my fourth day hair and it's so crazy. Uh, the curls just dropped down, so this is what we have, come tell. So this is the finished look guys. So I really love the way how this look turned out apart from my hair but what do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments what do you guys uh, think of this look, do let me know in the comments and um, if you have any other requests, if you have any other celebrity inspired makeup looks or if you have any other requests do let me know in the comments, I would love to hear from you and if you like this look give this video a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video, bye!